Thank you so much. What a great turnout we've got this evening. This is absolutely fantastic. And the cool thing about it is I'm talking about my favorite subject, which of course is uh, Facebook ad, um, Facebook ads, I guess, Facebook ad retargeting. So, uh, hi, I'm Kerry Fitzgibbon and welcome to the webinar this evening. I'm really, really excited to have you all here this, tonight because not only am I going to show you, I guess, proven Facebook marketing system, and one of the very latest marketing strategies that is light years ahead of any other marketing strategy that we've been trying lately. I've been using it not only in my own businesses, I've got a couple of businesses, which I'm going to show you this evening throughout this webinar and give you case studies of in that, but that of my clients too. So some of the results we've had include opt-in rates for free offers have more than doubled, conversion rates for sales have increased from two to 15 fold, and that's even when we've put the price up and marketing costs have dropped to less than half. And in some cases, which I'll show you, costs have dropped by over 90%. I'm going to show you some case studies on exactly how this has happened in this webinar this evening. But the really, really great news is it is actually really quite simple to implement once you understand the system. And that is what I'm going to show you over the next 60 minutes. But if you really want to get the most out of this webinar, You'll stay with me until the end because it is a system and if you any miss any key part, it won't work. Got it? So I'm going to show you also in the end how you can get me to do all this for you and help you with this as well. So let's break it down to what you're going to learn over the next 60 minutes. But before we do that, I just want to check that you can all hear me okay. So if you could just, uh, there's, a, there's a dashboard over to the side of your screen. If you can just uh, type in a yes, yeehaw, uh, I can hear you, Kerry, and that would be fantastic if you could do that. So let me check. Excellent. Great. Cool, cool. Excellent. Hello. Hey, Bruce, weren't you on with me last week? I think you were. I <laughs> can see you there. Excellent, we've got a whole lot on here today. That's fantastic. Okay, so we can all hear me fantastically. Okay, so let's break it down, down what we're going to learn over the next 60 minutes. So we're going to be talking about why Facebook strategies that were working just 12 months ago are now out of date, costly, and ineffective. Also, the seven steps to market your business the right way on Facebook. Uh, it's very, very different to what most people are doing right now. And also, I'm going to give you lots of examples of businesses who are really nailing it using these strategies. I absolutely love case studies. I also walk the walk in my own business as well. And I'm going to show you lots of these along the way so that you can get some idea of how other businesses are doing it because I find sometimes they're actually helps me to be able to get ideas for my business as well. So let's get going because we only have 16 minutes this evening and you know what I'm actually trying to I'm going to try and give you absolutely everything I can over the next 60 minutes okay but there is so much information. Now there are times throughout this webinar you are going to feel a little bit overwhelmed. That is okay. What I'm trying to do right now is give you um I, I guess give you the overall overview of the strategy. I want you to understand what is possible, but you're not going to know all the nuts and bolts and bits and pieces throughout the next 60 minutes, but at least you'll understand exactly the process and the step-by-step -step way that we can market on Facebook correctly. And then at the end of this webinar, I'm going to show you not only how I can show you how to do this, but how the lucky ones can get me to do it for them as well. So who am I and why should you listen to me? Well, I guess for you, those that don't know me, I am best known for working with businesses all over the world helping them implement the latest Facebook marketing strategies. What I'm going to show you this evening, not many others in the Facebook marketing sphere are actually teaching. I tell you what, right? So I've been to a lot of, I travel the world, I go to lots of conferences and that, I go to Social Media Marketing World every year, which is the biggest social media conference in the world. Uh, some of the strategies that uh, they were talking about there are things that I've been doing for over six months, okay? I just recently came back from a marketer's cruise around the Caribbean, somebody's got to do it, with some of the top marketers in the world. And you know what? Some of the strategies I'm going to share with you this evening, they are not doing right now. I showed one of the top 
people in the world some of the marketing strategies and the retargeting strategies that I'm using and they weren't even doing it in their business. So you guys, just by attending this webinar, are that far ahead of everyone else. But you see, the reason why I'm able to give you this information is my I actually really, really focus on using Facebook to make money. Now, it is a social network, I know, but my main focus when I'm working with a business is I want them to get return on investment. I don't just actually want them to get return on investment. I want to help them make money when they put effort into their Facebook marketing, not just friends. I have trained as a journalist, so my background is journalism, and I've worked in print, radio, and TV for over 10 years. You might say, how is this relevant to what you're teaching us this evening, Kerry? Well, the reason why it's relevant is, as a journalist, I learned how to research things, how to really dig deep into a story, not ever take it as face value. So why I'm able to be, as uh, I guess, as good as I am on Facebook is I research a lot. I take the good stuff and I pass it on to you guys. So I'm able to also find some of the top people doing amazing things with Facebook right this very second, right? But they're not well known. I have been able to source them out, learn from them, implement into my business, into other people's businesses, and figure out what works and what doesn't work as well, and then pass it on to you guys. I uh, do study, I implement and I coach others in social media marketing and that's been over the last seven years with predominantly focusing on Facebook. My main focus, especially for the last three years, has been Facebook. You might ask me why, why Facebook? Well, it changes all the time. For me to give you guys the best in Facebook or the latest information in Facebook, guess what? I have to keep up with it. So the only way I can keep up with it is to focus on one social channel and that's focus on Facebook and the changes that it's making every single day so that I'm on top of it. If a new thing's brought out, I can um, go in there, check out how it works, check out how we can make money from it and then pass it on to you guys. So um, that's why I focus predominantly on Facebook. Other social channels, I know how to use them um, but I won't class myself as the expert in them, okay? But I guess one really, really important thing for you sitting right where you are today is I specialize in helping people build reliable, sustainable, scalable income streams from Facebook, not just um, one-off promos. So if you are looking at building a long-term, sustainable, scalable business, then you are really, really going to love this. Now, I'm going to um, make this a little bit interactive, but please keep in mind that at the end of this, if you've got any questions, and no doubt many of you will have questions, uh, if you have any questions, then um, I'll give you an opportunity at the end to uh, uh, ask them from me. Um, like I said, I've got a very short time to give you as much as I possibly can give the to you uh, the best of this information to make it worthwhile for you this evening so you can walk away from this webinar and start implementing straight away um, but uh, I'll be going through it relatively quickly so I will take questions at the end if you want to stay around um, but right now I'll try and go through as much as possible so I hope you understand that um, as we go along anyway so let's make a little bit interactive for you um, and just so that I know exactly where you're at if I know where you're at I can sort of tailor this a little bit to the majority uh, it, 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 this, this webinar is actually for newbies right through to advance but uh, it is really really cool for me to get some idea and gauge where you are right now so uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a poll. So you know where that chat box is, the question box is, because uh, I, many of you have started typing in stuff uh, in there, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you are a newbie to Facebook, so we're talking newbie, you do not have an account in Facebook right now, please type in newbie in the box there. If they... <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth, so I've just had a, I need to learn more ASAP. Fantastic. Good. Excellent. Um, so if you are a newbie, please type a newbie in the box to the side there. If you are a social Facebook user, so you've got a social account but don't have a business page, please type in social in the box there over to the right. If you are currently run, running Facebook ads, sorry, if you have a face, sorry, if you have a business page, Okay, there we go. If you have a business page but are not currently running ads right now, please write type in page for me. If you are currently running Facebook ads right now, 
but don't are not making lots of money, then can you put in ads? And you know the last one, if you're making lots of money right now from Facebook, then I want lots of dollar signs in there. So let's just take a look at some of those answers as we go along. So we've got a few newbies. Uh, we've got um, medium, a uh, medium, okay, Lorraine. So a uh, number of Facebook ads. We've got newbie. We've got social Facebook user. We've got plenty of social Facebook users. Uh, we've got page, 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 um, Facebook ads, Facebook ads. Uh, just designed one but haven't published it yet, page, ads, 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 social, uh, we've got a uh, business page. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a mixture between business page and social and we've got a couple of newbies on with us this evening. So newbies, please understand, okay, this might sound confusing to you but you are in the right place. If it goes over your head right now, please be okay with that. I just want you to take on board what is possible and it is going to shock you and you are going to feel overwhelmed, but please understand, I want the overview, I want to show you how to do it right and then I'm going to show you A, how I can teach you to do this or B, how the lucky ones can get me to do it for you. So let's get ready to rock and roll as we go through this. Excellent. So let's just take a little moment to talk about why Facebook. Uh, now, a lot of people don't realize this. It is the number one website in the world. Um, we have, uh, in fact, we have currently 200, the latest report out, which was at the beginning of this year, was 265 million monthly active users. Um, the net income for the year on Facebook almost, uh, it actually more than doubled, which means there are more businesses on Facebook, more businesses advertising on Facebook, more competition on Facebook as well, okay? Seven out of 10 website users are on Facebook, which means it doesn't matter what business or industry you are in right now. Guess what? Your clients on Facebook. World's top brands are on Facebook as well. If they're doing it, then you should be doing it. What I often do is I look at a top brand, I see what they're doing, and I will mirror it um, or model it and see whether it, you know, or tailor it down to see how that can work in my business as well. Have a look at what they're doing. Seriously, they 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 spend the big dollars, and you can model off what they're doing. More than one billion people access Facebook via their mobile phone, which is really really cool because Facebook has some fantastic retargeting, ad retargeting things. That that you can do on your mobile phone. It is really, really easy for you to advertise to someone's mobile phone and get them to take action. But the other thing I want you to think about as well is have a look if your website is mobile optimized. Um, if most people are on Facebook, using Facebook via their mobile phone, then you need your website to keep up with it as well. 74% of consumers say that they rely on social media to make purchasing decisions. No longer are they looking at mainstream media for that. And new products are now discussed on Facebook as well. The reason why is it's a lot Easy, lots easier uh, for businesses to launch their products on Facebook first before rolling it out to mainstream. But here's the deal, okay? So do you remember what I said before? 265 million monthly active users. The net income of Facebook more than doubled last year. So more businesses are advertising on Facebook. It's more competition out there. But most business owners are doing Facebook wrong, which is where you guys are going to be steps ahead just even knowing a quarter of the stuff I'm going to share with you tonight. But what I want to run through initially is I want to run through the wrong way to do Facebook. The reason why I want to do this is I want you to identify this is the wrong way and then I'm going to th go through exactly how you should do it. So let's go through this for you, okay? So here's what businesses are doing. They're building lots of likes. They get lots of likes at the lowest cost possible, which is okay. I'm trying to get low likes so people to come like my page, right? But here's the deal. What these people are doing is quite often they'll focus on quantity over quality. They focus on the wrong audience just to get the numbers up to get the lowest possible likes. What happens then is the result is lots of poorly targeted, you know what, we're going to call them fans. They used to be called fan and fan pages. Let's go back to that because I like to class them as, you know, fans of your page, people that like your page. So when I refer to people that like your page, I'm going to refer to them as fans, okay, just to get some clarification there. So they build lots of 
lot, lots of likes, lowest cost possible, really not really worrying about the targeting just to make the page look like it's got lots of people on it, okay. Then what happens is they start posting things. But what they're looking at is they're looking at the reach. So what happens is Facebook will show your post to a number of people as they are on Facebook who like your page. If people interact with that post, they will start showing it to more people. Keep this in your head. Facebook will reward you for doing good. The more people that interact with your stuff, the more Facebook will reward you by showing more of your stuff. Keep in mind, they're looking for a good user experience. So here's what happens. A business owner will focus on likes, but they've got poorly, poorly, uh, and lots of likes at low cost which results in lots of poorly targeted fans. Then they'll post and then they'll focus on reach, but the reach is poor because people aren't interacting with their stuff because they're targeting the wrong people who won't interact with their stuff. So then what they do is they go, right, so how do I get more reach? My, my, my post to go out to more people? Well, I get more engagement on the post. So, so more people liking, commenting, and sharing that post. So what they do is they try and increase the engagement. Now we all know that Cat photos, nice kids' videos, memes and stuff, great motivational quotes tend to get a lot of engagement, right? But what they're doing is they're using irrelevant photos, videos, and memes. So a cat photo on a page that's not about cats is irrelevant to that page. Now, you might find that people will respond to it, but they are not truly engaged with your brand. Then what the business owner does is they will try to sell stuff. So they've built up the likes. Now they've got the reach and the engagement on these poorly um, irrelevant posts. Try to sell, but sales are low since the fans are poorly targeted and not truly engaged. So that results the result, realistically, is lots of effort for very little return. And I see this time and time again, people saying, I spent ages on Facebook, I've got great reach and great engagement and whatever else, but no one's buying for me right now. Yeah, you've got the wrong people in front of you. There really seriously is a much better way to do Facebook marketing, which is what I'm going to cover. But let's first take a moment to go through some of the businesses that I've helped before, just to give you an idea of of, of, of those businesses and then we'll go into the seven steps to doing this the right way. So Sam Penny was sitting where you guys were about a year ago, okay, not in your house but he was sitting on this webinar a year ago. Sam Penny is an absolutely fantastic legend, an absolute legend. He lives up in the Sunshine Coast, he's got a couple of hair salons and his hair salons specialize, he niches into color, okay. So after attending this Facebook uh, webinar, and taking action, he went out and he started placing ads and uh, he would spend $400 on ads and he would make over $4,000 a week on ads. So fantastic return on investment using the strategies that I'm going to share with you this evening. But here's what Sam did. He is such an action taker that he started another business. Now this business is absolutely fantastic. So um, just to give you a little bit of a background of the story is uh, Sam was in Vanuatu with a group of friends and they were having yummy, yummy cheese there because uh, you can get fantastic cheese in Vanuatu, of course. And he was saying, why don't they do something like that in Australia? Idea was born. So come back to Australia, started doing some of these techniques on Facebook and that built up Cheese Therapy. Now Cheese Therapy is a membership site for cheese. So people order their cheeses every month and they come get delivered to their doors. He is now shipping a ton of cheese a month. So you work that out. I think membership to get your uh, your slices of cheese from around the world um, is about $79 a month. So you do your maths on that uh, and he's doing really, really well using some of the strategies that I'm going to share with you this evening. I worked with this company, uh, Fruvi. It's a high-end juicer and blender company. So they sell restaurant-grade juices and blenders a little bit a cut above everyone else so to speak so the one of the strategies in particular that I'm going to share with you this evening which is the retargeting strategy or remarketing depends what you want to call it okay um, in the states they call it retargeting over here we call it remarketing I'm going to share the secret to that later on but you doing uh, using the retargeting strategy they were able to make an extra 33,000 a month from Facebook advertising uh, this couple here Andrew and Daryl Grant they are uh, colleagues uh, mentors uh, bus uh, business partners and uh, friends and so on of mine now um, I help Andrew and Daryl what they do is they uh, sorry they hold workshops throughout Australia 
Australia and uh, webinars throughout the world as well. And I help them fill their events. They teach people how to set up online businesses and are very, very good at it and have been doing it for the last 10 years. So uh, I work with them and help them fill their webinars and their, and, and their workshops and using the strategies that I'm going to share with you this evening, um, we were able to make seven figures in sales over the net last, uh, last 12 months using these strategies as well. I worked with Campbell, Campbell Moore is a real estate agent on the Gold Coast here. Cammy is absolutely, he's a legend as well. Um, so Campbell didn't really know how to do Facebook, didn't even know realistically what a page was, didn't know the difference between a page and a personal profile either. Um, so when I first kick started doing stuff with Campbell, uh, actually some of the strategies that we were doing meant that a couple turned up to one of his open homes after seeing an ad and they listed their home with them with him, which is a $1.2 million listing. Now, the real estate agents out there know how valuable this is. Uh, this is one of my businesses and I want to share this with you because I walk the walk and this is pretty much the exact seven-step system that I'm going to teach you tonight is what I did with this business. But I just want to share this with you because I'm very, very uh, proud of this and show you what you can achieve. So I was given a challenge a few, a couple of years ago, a uh, 30-day challenge that then someone challenged me to go from no uh, no niche, no nothing, n not even really an idea to making money from Facebook within 30 days. Uh, so I came up with a niche. I'm a runner, and uh, at that particular time, I hadn't run an official marathon, but I'm a runner now. I was a runner, and I came up with a marathon niche and set up a business on Facebook, and I recorded my way through the 30-day process. On day 21, I sold my first affiliate product. Now, move on from there, I set up and sold training programs, uh, nutrition programs, uh, t-shirts, and now I have an international sportswear brand of clothing called Marathon Girl. Never mess with a woman who runs 42.2 kilometers just for fun. Uh, of course, if it's miles, it's 26.2 miles. I have uh, half marathon tops. I have different colors, and we're about to branch out into new styles. I have a Marathon Girl bracelet as well. Now... Uh, there's a couple of really cool things about this. One is I sold out of my first shipment of tops before I even paid for them, which was the first thing. And that's just by building up and showing you exactly what I'm showing you, the steps, sorry, by using the steps which I'm going to show you this evening, which were able, when I enabled me to do this. But this business now makes me six to $8,000 a month. And I work around about 10 hours a month in this business I have other people do my fulfillment but I work around about 10 hours a month um, to make six to eight k's in this business so if that's something that you're interested in doing uh, the step-by-step -step process I'm going to show you this evening um, I want to share with you uh, um, a lady that came to one of my workshops she um, has a natural teeth whitener uh, she doesn't actually want to uh, didn't, she wanted to be a bit private about what she does, but she did actually attend one of my workshops a couple of years ago. Um, and then she came back a year later, and this is what she said. I'm a beauty therapist with a passion for natural therapies. I have an e-commerce business selling a natural teeth whitener. I started on social media just 18 months ago. Before that, I didn't even know what a like was. So for all the newbies there, take note of this. I attended Kerry's Facebook workshop a year ago, and Kerry helped me set up a Facebook uh, business on Facebook. My daughters also helped me with Instagram. I've now been selling for 10 months. In month three, I did 30,000 in sales. Last month, I did 65,000. I'm now selling in 55 countries and have a distributor in the UK. I'm a 2015 finalist in the Richard Branson Entrepreneurship Business Builder Awards, and I'm in the top 1% in social media sales for businesses under 12 months old. Based on orders that I have in the pipeline, I'll do over a million next year. So from not even knowing what a like was to a very successful business on Facebook, all using you know some of the strategies or some of the strategies that I'm going to share with you tonight, knowing how to market properly and taking action, guys. That's one of the things that um, she did. So with that in mind, let's go through the step-by-step -step process for doing Facebook marketing the right way. And it is a seven-step process, which I'm going to take you through. So. Uh, Buckle in. <laughs> so um, 
step one, and some of these I'm going to spend a bit more time on and other ones I'm going to go through a little bit quicker, okay, um, just to just so that we've got enough time this evening. So I'm very, very aware of, of time here. So step one is you want to set up and optimize your Facebook page. You want to also have a component of setting up a like campaign, so getting people to come and like that page. And I'm going to explain that in a more detail in a second. And you also want to have the components of an opt-in page. So that's a page on your website where you can give away a valuable free gift. So something that is high perceived value, but low cost of delivery. So let's break that down. I'm not going to go into details on optimizing your Facebook page, but let's go into details of creating effective Facebook like ads. So ads that get people to come and like your page. So we want to have an image and a call to action to like the page. Now keep in mind, the only thing we want them to do in this instance is to come and like the page. So we want it nice and simple. Love running marathons like us. That would be the example of my run marathon training page. Now, you want to create this ad and manage it inside Ads Manager. Now, for the newbies out there, just to give you an idea, when you set up your page for the very first time, Facebook will ask you, do you want to promote this page? Most people make the mistake of going, yes, all of a sudden, before you know it, you are running a like ad or an ad to get people to like your page. This is not where you want to do it. You want to skip that step. As you are going through your Facebook days and you go onto your page, Facebook will make suggestions to you. Do you want to promote your page? And they'll do it on your page. And if you tick yes, then you are setting up your ad from your page. I don't want you to do this. I want you to go inside Ads Manager. So there's a place inside Facebook. It's your Ads Manager where you can manage your ads. So people that have done these before know this. That is where you want to set up your ads. Just to give you an idea, okay, um, because you have a lot more control over your ads inside Ads Manager. Now, I'm going to show you why this is. we're doing the next step. But you always want to have two ads running to split test. And initially, we're going to split test these with a couple of different images, okay? The reason why we want to do a couple of different images is because as people are going through their news feed, they are looking at images. The images are the things that stand out. We want to stop them in their tracks, get them to come back, read the copy, and take action, which in this instance is to come and like our page. So initially, I will split test images. Now, in the initial stages, I'm going to run that campaign for up to 10 days, and I'm going to have a daily budget of $5 per split test. So effectively, that'll be $10 a day for 10 days to get the best ad. So what we're looking for when we're doing this is we're looking for ads that have a high relevancy score. So just to give you an idea, Facebook gives you a score out of 10 for your ads. If it's 10 out of 10, it means it's highly relevant, so you're doing good, Facebook will reward you. If it's a low one, if it's 1 out of 10 or 2 out of 10, not so good, uh, your cost per like will be a little bit higher. Okay, Facebook will reward you for doing good. The only time for those people that are already running Facebook ads, the only time that I am concerned about the relevancy score and I look at it is during a like ad. If I'm running any other type of ad or any other objective, I don't so much worry about the relevancy score. I'm looking for cost per action, okay? The newbies, don't you worry about that. So we're looking for ads with a high relevancy score and a low cost per like, okay? So in the initial stages, if you are brand new to this and you don't have a list or anything like that, then you are going to advertise to an interest-based audience. So this will be, if we're talking about my marathon runners, it'll be people that like the Boston Marathon, people that like Gold Coast Marathon, people that like New York Marathon, you get the picture. You will, might want to advertise to a, a demographic type of audience or a behavior-based audience. I'm going to go into audiences a little bit sooner on in this webinar and break them down more for you. But just to give you an idea, in these initial stages, if you're brand new, these are the audiences we're going to advertise to. If you already have an existing database, then you can upload those in people into Facebook and you can advertise to them as well, which is fantastic. But we're going to give you more details on that very, very shortly.
So I want to show you the difference between a couple of split tests just to give you an idea. So this is a client of mine and this is the first ad that we ran. Now this ad here had a cost per like of 28 cents. Now I know this is a passion niche. So in a passion niche, I knew that 28 cents might be a little bit expensive. And in any other type of industry or niche in that, it might not be. But knowing that 28 cents in a passion niche is quite expensive, we did some split testing, which we do anyway. So we split test this with this little puppy here, okay? Um, and what happened after a couple of days is the cost per like dropped down to 6 cents a like, okay? So if we hadn't split test that, we would have never, ever known. So... Um, now, in a passion niche, just, just, just to let you know, um, I would expect anything under 10 cents a like to be, to be really, really good. In a business-to-business -business niche or in a local business niche, you know, one, two, three dollars sometimes. And sometimes it might not be worth running a like campaign. It might be worth doing other things. But in these initial stages, uh, we're going to test the campaign. Now, just to give you an idea of one of my ads that I ran, so this one here was just a turn your Facebook marketing efforts into profits like us. This one here was around about, I think, 80 cents to get a like, and I know I'm going to get return on investment on that, but I wanted to play with it and get it down lower. I just did something a little bit outside the square, start out on the right foot with your Facebook marketing and advertising like us, and this one here dropped down to between 18 and 21 cents uh, a like. So, uh, and, and it was targeting my, my niche. Now, I work with all sorts of businesses, um, but uh, I, I love to work with, you know, as one of my side niches. This one here was targeting specifically people like me, entrepreneurial women who absolutely love their shoes, and it stands out. So just to give you an idea of the purpose of the like ads, it's not what you think. It's actually... I guess realistically, so you can identify exactly who the demographics of your ideal client. So it's really for you to identify your avatar. Now, keep in mind, if you can, once you get up and over a thousand likes or a thousand people liking your page on Facebook, it unlocks a thing in the back end of your Facebook ads manager that lets you see a lot more about the people that like your page. So if you know a little bit more about these people, keep in mind, like a campaign that gets someone to come like your page is like, it's the first touch on them. It's, the th it's like they're putting their hand up and saying, I'm interested in what you do. So it's the first little touch. It's non-threatening to someone just to come and like your page. You know that they're interested in what you do. Then you can start doing some of the other stuff I'm going to teach you in a minute. Now, once you've identified who this is, then you can speak directly to them. Now, what I mean by that, or advertise directly to them. Now, remember how I said before, Facebook rewards you for doing good. So let's just say you've got a 25 to 35 year old female as your main clientele and you know this. Well, there's certain type of wording that you'd use in your ad that would attract the 25 to 35 year old female. There's a certain type of image that you'll use in your ad that will attract the 25 to 35 year old female that might be different to a 25 to 35 year old male or 35 to 45 year old female and so on. So once they can, so at the end user, if they feel like they look at your ad and they identify with it, they're more likely to take action. If they take action, then Facebook will reward you for that and it will massively reduce your ad costs. And yes, I guess the last thing here is, yes, it is great to have a little bit of social proof to get more likes on your page, but do not sacrifice your audience. Do not sacrifice the quality just to get quantity, okay? So we want to make sure that we're targeting the right people and with the right message. So just to show you how this can work. So I find that people that like your page, it's the first touch of them, that become a slightly warm audience as opposed to an interest-based audience that is a cold audience. They haven't had any interaction with you yet. So this is a campaign I ran for a few days for a client to build a list. And this is the fans, so the like audience. We had 23 website actions at $2 as opposed to the cold audience, which is the above here, seven website actions at $6.43. So it's worth getting people to come and like your page first because they convert a lot better. 
Uh, just to show you a competition I ran for a client recently, um, and this is a really, really good one. This is our lookalike audience, which is, again, it's a cold audience, but it's actually a good audience. Uh, show you a bit more about that in a minute. We've got our fans, the people that like our page, and we've got an interest-based audience here. So our fans, we had 17 people take action at $5.34 compared to $11 here and seven here. So you can see how important it is to get these people to come and like your page first. So after we've done our like campaign, step two is we want to start posting, or at the same time, we want to start posting helpful, relevant content on our blog. So we want to make sure that we can drive people from Facebook to our website. So one of the ways of doing this as this is what our blog post uh, looks looks like. We might have a page. We might post some relevant content on here. Um, sorry. So we've got a like campaign. Step two is posting relevant stuff on your blog post, on your website, so that we can do step three. Step three is we want to put a Facebook pixel on each page of your website to track the visitors. So let's go into a little bit more detail and break that one down for you. So just to give you an idea of what a pixel is, and we're going to get a little bit complicated here, but it's just all part of the process, understand that. So we've got people to come like our page, we've got done stuff on our website, now we're going to put a pixel on our website. A pixel is a small piece of code that Facebook gives you. Everyone actually has it if you've got an ad account. When you put that on your website, it tags any visitor who has a Facebook account. So if someone comes to your website, they get tagged. Whether they are logged into Facebook or not, um, you're able to tag them. What you can do after this is you can go inside Facebook and you can create audiences inside Facebook depending on which pages on your website that someone visited. Then the next step after that is to set up rules inside Facebook which instruct Facebook to show different ads to different audiences. Uh, I know this is going to sound complicated, but I will show you more about that and we'll break it down in a minute. I just need you to know that we get a little bit of pixel code, we're going to put it on our website. So step four is so we've got the people that like our page. We've now got content on our website. We've got that little pixel on our website as well. We're going to start running Facebook ads. We're going to target our people that like our page. And we're going to get them to go to our website. We're going to get them to read our content or opt-in. So what I mean by opt-in is we're going to start building a list so they can give us their email address. So the purpose of this step is we want to trigger that Facebook pixel to create what we call a website custom audience. This is an audience that is inside Facebook that we can build. And again, I'm going to show you more on how I can show you how to do this in detail. But you think about it. If people are taking the effort to click on something, come to your website, read your stuff, once they come back to Facebook, they are really, really hot prospects. What we want to do is we also want to start building an email list as well. You may have heard the sucker saying, but the money is in the list. And we want to be able to email market to those people on our list. We want to also build that email list so that we can then upload those people back into Facebook again and build a custom audience that we can advertise to. So we want to have an audience of people that have visited our website. We want to have an audience of people that have opted in or given us their email address as well. Really, really hot audiences. Then what we want to do is we also want to build a custom audience that you can use to create a look-alike audience that you can advertise to. Again, more about this audience in a minute. I will go to break that down. So just to give you an idea of maybe if you've never built a list before, you want to give them something that's high perceived value, but low cost of delivery for you. So it might be a free type of report. This is one of my clients, discover how to swap work for travel, live with the locals, make a difference, and it's a free guide. So they might, in the newsfeed, 
you're going to have an ad like this where people can click download and they get taken to a page that might look like this. As soon as they come to this page, they get pixeled, okay? And the only thing they can do on this page is to enter their name and email address. So step five, and I know we're running through this really, really uh, fast this evening. I hope you're taking this on board. This is, like I said, most of the stuff, if you can just understand it and understand what's possible, you're leaps and bounds. You're actually 90% further ahead than, or, or one of the top 90% of marketers, or 10% of marketers, should I say, in the world, um, because a lot of people don't know this stuff. So step five is you want to create highly targeted custom audiences that you can remarket to. So this includes fans, so people that like your page. It includes people that engage with your page, so like and comment on your posts. It includes website visitors, so people that come to your website. It includes, includes people that are on your email list, and it also includes look-alike audiences. So let's break down these audiences for you to give you a better understanding of exactly what you can achieve. And I get super, super excited with this step because these audiences um, really do make your business. Uh, it's a really great way of um, advertising to people that are already interested in what you do. It makes it nice and easy. So first and foremost, we've got people that like your page, which are your fans. So if we're running the right type of campaign and we're targeting the right type of people, we're going to get the right type of fans. And these people are really, really, but it's the first step that they, you know, it's the first step to say, I'm interested in what you do. So you want to advertise to fans, people that like your page. Now, you also want to advertise to your email custom audience. So right now, if you have a database, okay, of people that have opted into your list, or you have a database of people that have bought from you, you can load them up into Facebook and you can advertise specifically to them. You can advertise to people that come to your website. You can advertise to people based on the action that they take on your website as well. So whatever page that they've come to on your website, whatever action that they've taken on your website, whether they've bought or not bought, downloaded something or not downloaded something, read something or not read something, you can advertise to them based on action or inaction that they've taken on your website. You can advertise to what we call an engagement-based audience. So if you have people that come and like your posts, or comment on your posts on Facebook, you can now advertise to those people. This is a brand new audience. But you can also advertise to people that engage with your videos. So if you've got videos on Facebook, you can advertise to people that watch three seconds of your video, 10 seconds of your video, 25% of your video, 50% of your video, 75% or 90% or all of your video. Imagine what you could do with that. So let's just say you've got a video on Facebook. You know people have only watched up to 50% of that video, but you know that that last 50% they needed to watch. Well, you might remarket to those people that only watched 50% of the video and remarket to them to get them to come and watch the rest of the 50%. Or if they have watched 90% of your video, you know they're really hot. They've stayed on to watch 90%. Or well, you might want to sell them or, or remarket to them to do something else. Honestly, super excited about this, these audiences, the engagement audiences. This audience here is blows my mind. So the lookalike audience is an audience that Facebook produces from any of the above. So let's just say you've got a targeted list of people that already buy from you. You can load that up into Facebook. Let's just say their audience is just over 100 people. You can then produce a lookalike audience that is that damn similar to your buyer's audience, except it's multiplied. So let's just say you've got 100 people that buy from you right now. You load that into Facebook. Facebook, keep in mind, knows most things about most people. It's very, very good at matching similar people up. So, in fact, it's 1% difference. So, it can turn your 100 list of buyers into 100,000, 200, 300,000 people that are exactly like the people that buy from your business. I get super excited. You can hear it in my voice because this audience here makes, if you've got a really small list and a small, a small list of buyers right now or a small list of fans right now or your business is just starting out, this audience here is your best friend. It's 
honestly huge results from this audience and, and it's super, super exciting. You can advertise to an audience based on the actions that they've taken. So let's just say they landed on your, visited your landing page, but they didn't opt in. So, hey, I see people have come and visited my um, uh, marathon girl guide to running a marathon, but let's just say they do not grab my free report. I can advertise to them when they come back to Facebook, I can advertise to them saying, hey, I see you were looking at the marathon girl guide to uh, running a marathon, but you didn't grab the report. Here's why you need it benefit, benefit, benefit to get them to take action. Let's just say someone has come to your shop and they have checked out, um, sorry, they have added to cart and for whatever reason, they abandon the shopping cart. In fact, 67% of people abandon shopping cart. Uh, that's the statistics. So let's just say they abandon shopping cart, the house is burnt down, the, 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 the baby's crying, the phone call or whatever else, and, and, and then they, they never come back, right? You can advertise to people that abandon shopping cart to get them to come back and take action and check out and buy, which is fantastic. I'm going to show you some results of that in a minute. You can advertise to a behavior-based audience. So let's just say you own a travel business, for instance, okay? You can advertise to people that are currently traveling, planning on traveling, like to travel to beach locations, have just come back from traveling, and so on. You can uh, advertise to people that got engaged, got engaged six months ago, people that are in relationships, people that are broken up, uh, people that like to spend a lot on Facebook. You get my picture. Pretty much, you can break down, you can find any audience you want on Facebook which I absolutely love. So those are your audiences. Step six is we want to remarket to those custom audiences and we want to build up more of your fans on your page because they know that we know they convert really, really well um, and we want to advertise to our email list and build up more of our email list as well. So if you're not sure of what remarketing is, it's my definition of remarketing is stalking people who visit your website and based on their action or in action, we're going to show them some highly targeted ads. The purpose of remarketing is we want to target people with a, who have taken particular action with a very specific tailored ad. So just to give you an idea, if someone visits your opt-in page, like I said before, um, but they didn't opt-in, well, then you want to show them the ad show them ads about the value of your free gift. So, for instance, some of you guys would have come to the registration page for this webinar, not registered straight away. You would have gone back to Facebook and you would have seen an ad saying, hey, I see you were checking out uh, my Facebook remarketing webinar, but you didn't register. Here's why you want to, if you want to know, learn how to do this, here's why you want to attend the webinar. Benefit, benefit, benefit. and got you to take action. When you did register, right, many of you would have got a, hey, congratulations, you're registered. Make sure you come along live this evening. If someone has abandoned your shopping cart, like I said before, partway through the buying process, which happens, 67% of people do it, show them their ads about the benefit of your product that get them to take action. So for instance, with my Marathon Girl Tops, if they abandon shopping cart, they'll come back to Facebook and they'll see an ad saying, hey, free shipping until Sunday. If they buy, they'll see an ad saying $100 off a training program. So we're going to cross sell as well, okay? So just to give you an idea of some remarketing ads, uh, I was actually had the pleasure of working with Glenn Twiddle. Glenn Twiddle does real estate training events uh, throughout Australia. He's one of the best real estate trainers, and he did a, a, a double whammy, I think it was last year, uh, or the year, he had Richard Branson and Arnold Schwarzenegger. In fact, next month, He's got Arnold Schwarzenegger coming back to Australia. You really need to check that out. Total Success Summit, uh, it's called. Um, Arnie's going to be there. But anyway, so here's an he gives you an idea. I worked with Glenn, and it was about a week and a half before his event. And for whatever reason, we he couldn't advertise Richard Branson until a week and a half before the event because it clashed with another event of his. Uh, so we did this ad, want to spend time with Richard Branson. He's coming to Australia next week. Last minute ticket sales are still available to see Richard Branson and the Titans of Real Estate live on stage. Book now before an agent takes your place. Uh, here's what to Glenn said after the event. A couple of weeks ago, I hosted I was host to Richard Branson at one of my events. I had over a 1,000 people attend. The reason I'm able to get those sorts of numbers is the help I had from Kerry Fitzgibbon and her Facebook marketing. Kerry handled it all for me. Her Facebook skills were beyond good using her remarketing strategies. The results were incredible. My cost per conversion dropped by over 
from 97 to 197 to just get uh, from from 97 to 197 to just 17 to 20 dollars to get someone to come to his seminar i can't imagine how much money i wasted back when i was doing it myself i'm really glad i found kerry with her unique skills on facebook so here's what we did one if they came to the page and they didn't take action went back to facebook and saw did life get in the way our spies tell us you were checking out the Titans of Real Estate event page, but you didn't register. Here's your last chance to spend time with Richard Branson. So just to give you the idea of the results on this one, over $500,000 uh, worth of sales um, from this event. And it, a lot of it was done through retargeting to those audiences that I've just shared with you and using the steps that I've showed you. So once we've done all of that, step seven is we want to sell stuff via email, and remarketing ads to those custom audiences, okay? Which are your website audiences, uh, your, um, your, your list as well, and website audiences based on the action they take. So just to give you some results here, this is a client of mine again, uh, was on the webinar like you guys. He took some action, which is always fantastic. Um, uh, and uh, and here's the results that we have from him. So came to the webinar, took some action. Ad cost dropped 23% after remarketing to the website audience. He actually had a really high abandoned shopping cart rate, so dropped a further 62% after remarketing to shopping cart abandons. Facebook ads now cost only one tenth of Google AdWords, and monthly income is up by 46% in the first four weeks after he started, monthly income doubled since he started remarketing. So I wanna share with you some other businesses that I've helped do Facebook marketing the right way, just to give you an example of some of this retargeting as well. So I worked with Andrew and Daryl Grant, who I told you about before. Uh, they were asked by Brett Thompson, who's one of Australia's top copywriters, to help promote one of his new, um, new apps. Uh, but they were right in the middle of promoting a four-day workshop and they didn't want to interrupt their email campaign to their list. So we ran some Facebook ads instead. Um, ran the ads for four days. It was 112 new leads. But just to give you an idea, we used their database and a lookalike audience. And as you can see from here, $2.68 per action in total. Um, but we spent $300 here and made over $4,200 in profit from Facebook remarketing predominantly to that custom audience and, of course, a lookalike audience as well. Uh, like I said, I worked with Fruity. This is a Boxing Day campaign we ran, but just to give you an idea, uh, we've got mainly warm audiences here and a lookalike audience, but uh, in total spent $300 to make $15,000. Uh, the great thing here is the cost per action was $6. In Google AdWords, it was probably cost per action of around about $90, $90 to $100 to get a sale. So massive, massive drop. Uh, worked with Lauren. Lauren is, uh, oh my God, she's fantastic. She's the branding expert in Australia. She has worked with top advertising companies throughout Australia and New Zealand. If you want your business branded, Lauren is your lady. Um, I'm an author and speaker and I help people raise their authority. Last year, my books became bestsellers. So I've been doing the speaking circuit, but I was finding it hard to fill my workshops. As soon as Kerry switched on Facebook ads, I had four workshops. I already had a database and Kerry plugged that into Facebook and it all happened like magic. And the people that turned up to the workshops are the perfect audience. Even the lookalike audience is a perfect match. At my half-day personal branding workshops, I sell one-on-one -on -one programs. With workshops filled from Facebook, I'm getting an 80% conversion rate. I spend 180 on Facebook ads, and it's turned into thousands, which is fantastic. Work with Jakey Jake. Jake's a really awesome personal trainer. He's got an absolutely fantastic business model. Um, he came to my workshop, and this is what he said at my workshop. Um, I've been running a PT business for six and a half years. We have 22 locations in Queensland and Western Australia. We mostly use Facebook to bring in leads and we've been working with McCurry for about two months now. On Facebook, we promote a four-week intro boot camp for just $47. Once people have bought, we upsell them to ongoing programs. Our continuity products bring in around about 20000 a week. Since we've been working with Kerry, we've been able to reduce our cost per lead down to just $3.50. We have a 33% conversion rate to a long-term client with a value of 1000 That means that it now costs us just $10 to make 1000 That also means it's easy to license our business to other PTs. Without Facebook, I'd just be a typical PT uh, trying to get my next client and working a second job at night. So... 
I guess you now get the idea of um, how the potential of Facebook and what it can do for you. Now, given I've given you like quite a few examples, obviously there's going to be a variation of success, but now, as I've been saying throughout the, the webinar, let me take a moment to show you how you can be successful in Facebook with my step-by-step -step program. How can I help you do this? And also the lucky ones who I can actually do this for you. So there is probably a lot of questions you have. So that is why I've put together my Facebook Profits program. It's the program that I wished I'd had when I'd started. It is very, very thorough as well, okay? So it comes in three components. The first component, component is my Facebook Ad Secrets Remarketing Training. So this is, I guess, really, really the secret source to be able to do some of the stuff that I was teaching you this evening. So setting up those remarketing audiences, custom audiences, teaching you about that pixel, setting goals and so on. There are seven tailor-made videos that will take you through the remarketing process. I also know that people learn in different ways, so I have a 67-page training guide that you can read through as you go through the training as well. I have a quick start cheat sheet for all those people that just want to tick things off as you go along in this training, and of course a resource report that shows you all the links to lots of the things and research that I've done. Not many of you will look at this, but I know there'll be one or two people that want to go through the resource report and see where I got my information from to start with. Now, I run marathons, uh, so I do a lot of training. I spend a lot of time pounding the pavement. Um, you might not do the same as me, but you might spend a lot of time in your car, right? So that's why I've got audios of the training. Here's how I learn best. I go and I listen to webinars and I listen to training. Sorry, I watch them. Then I'll go out and I'll listen to audios just to segment it in my head. So in all my training, I always supply the audio training for you so that if you do the same as me and like to segment things in your head and you're a little bit time poor, you can listen to the audios of the training as well. This component of my training is valued at $1,995. I also have a second component, which is just showing you some of the free stuff on how to do Facebook, sort of, you know, free, I guess, um, how to make sales from Facebook without spending a cent. In this particular component, it covers really seriously all the latest tips and tricks to getting free traffic from Facebook. I show you how to increase that reach of your organic posts. Um, you know how I was telling you before that some people do this incorrectly. I'll show you how to do it the right way. How to post to get your fans to sign up to your email list. Some of the new rules of Facebook posting and how to use this to your advantage. People are still posting wrong on Facebook. I see it time and time again. And some quick engagement and monetizing tips for Facebook as well. So the total value of this particular component is $497. And then I've got your the how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch beginners course. It's actually... I would say beginners, intermediate, and some of your advanced people, well, this will be the perfect, perfect one for you. Now, here's what I'm doing. This is actually available right now. All these three components are available right now in the members area, but I'm just about to kickstart the latest 2017 training in Facebook ads based on this how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch. So I've got my training in there. It was recorded last year. The principles are exactly the same. It's the principles of what we're doing right now. But right, um, I'm kickstarting the brand new 2017 training, and that's going to be in the members area and we live webinars starting next week. So we'll go into a bit more details. But we have six training webinars, how to create and optimize your Facebook page, how to create like ads to build an audience, how to post on Facebook the right way for the best engagement, how to use Facebook to sell your products and services, and of course the total value of this is $1,997. Now, also I've got actually a three-day workshop you've heard me talking about. That's coming up in June. Uh, you get two tickets on how to use Facebook to grow your business as part of that as well. So there's a hell of a lot of information I'm giving you um, and that's because I really, really want to make this program, I want you to be as successful as possible. And so that's why I'm also offering you a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me. So you'll have the nuts and bolts uh, on the strategy call. I will tailor make this to suit your business so that you can get uh, I guess, 
results at a lot quicker pace. So the last thing I'm going to do for you is something really, really special. It's something I normally reserve for my high level clients, people who pay me over $17,000 or more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 12 months of private mentoring from me as you implement and that's as part of our exclusive private Facebook group. So I've got a Facebook group which I'll give you access to. What I do inside that group is when things change on Facebook, I update it with videos that you'll get access to inside that group. Okay, so the latest changes will be up, uh, uh, um, updated inside that group as things change. If you've got questions about anything as you implement, if you've got questions about anything online, if you've got questions about marketing in general, I have copywriters, I have SEO experts, I have technical people, I have past clients that you have seen get fantastic results are all in this group and they're all ready to help you along the way so uh, you do get access to that so just summary of what you get just to wrap this up is you get the Facebook ad secrets remarketing training valued at 1995 how to make sales from Facebook without spending a, pro, uh, a cent at, valued at $497 you also get the how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch course 1997 uh, the one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me, which is 997 And that 12 months private mentoring inside the Facebook group, seriously, guys, that is priceless. So you also get, actually, I, I didn't mention this here, but the three-day workshop that I recorded in uh, September, you will get access to that 12 video set of those, but you get also the tickets to my June workshop as well. So the total value of all of this is $6,483. And at that price, it's incredible value. I really seriously know you'll easily recoup the value and increase traffic conversion and sales you'll make from what you'll learn in the program. But I have something really, really special for you that's going to give you a massive discount on that price. But you see, I need to ask you a favor. I'm on a mission to be the go-to person for Facebook remarketing or Facebook advertising in the world. I am no... I'm, I'm known as one of the best here in Australia and because of my successes I have heaps of speaking gigs and have secured some overseas speaking gigs and clients as well. But in order for me to really dominate I need tons more of case studies so I want this to be a win-win situation. So you can get the entire program including the very latest training live webinars which will kick off next week uh, for just four payments of $297. So that's $6,483 worth of value for just four payments of $297. But here's the deal, guys. Um, I want to be able to use your success as my case study. So only if you love my course, I would love to get testimonials from you. So here's the link here. I'm just going to copy and paste it into the chat box I'm actually going to, have to grab it from here sorry guys uh, just give me a second and I also want to show you how you get the chance for me to do this for you okay so let's me just go in here grab the link so hold on and we're going to show you how I can do this for you uh, I just need to go into my browser here some reason when I post it in here it comes up with a 20% you'll get instant access to the program so I'm just going to type it in here we are so it's in the chat box there ready to rock and roll great stuff so that's a webinar pay, uh, special for payments for $297, uh, as long as I can use you as testimonial. If you decide you want to pay in full, I will discount it further. And uh, if you do a one-off payment, it's only $997. But because I really want this to be no excuses for you guys, I want to help you. I know for many of you, this is the first time you've met me. Uh, you may be a little unsure about doing business with someone you've just met, even if it is such an amazing offer. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll also include a 30 day no questions asked money back guarantee. That means over the next 30 days, you can attend those webinars. 
read the guide, use the checklist, even get the strategy call with me and ask me as many questions as you want inside the mentoring group. If at the end of the 30 days you decide the program is not for you for any reason, then I will refund you in full, no questions asked. I simply can't make it more risk-free than that. So head over to the page I gave you. Uh, I'll paste it back in the chat box and let me know if you're having any issues finding that link, team. There we go. Now, like I said before, I'm going to now share with you how I can do this for you. I want to do something very, very special for the action takers. I love working with action takers, with people who are keen to make things happen. I'm an action taker myself, and I have a track record to prove it. So, if you're an action taker, then I have something really, really special for you. You see, I find, you know how I want to be the best in the world? Well, action takers are the ones that are going to help me get there, because you guys take action. Uh, you'll be fantastic case studies. So, if you join before the end of the webinar, and we'll be taking questions throughout the webinar, I'm going to build your Facebook marketing for you. So what I mean by that is, told you I was going to do it for you, I will build or optimize your existing Facebook page. I will create your like ads and set up your like campaigns. I will create your conversion or list building ads and set up those campaigns as well. I will create your remarketing ads and set up your remarketing ad campaign as well. This all includes graphics and we'll also create and load all the necessary pixels onto your website as well. Then we will hand it over to you once we've done this with the training on how to manage it. The total value of the action takers bonus is over $4,000. In fact, I have put my price up to $5,000 for me to do this for someone. So, if you are an action taker, uh, I want to make this happen for you. So head over to the link that I've posted in the chat box and uh, take some action. I will be taking questions at the end of this webinar and we're almost finished. But just to give you some idea, um, just Julie, uh, she's actually doing really, really well with an autism product. But just, just what she said about the course. So when she started Facebook remarketing training, um, she had six to nine fold increase in traffic to her website. Uh, after doing some of the course. Uh, Annette is a marketing consultant to small to medium enterprises. She has an electrician client of hers uh, who has increased traffic slash cost and gotten seven new client calls in six days after doing the after doing the uh, steps in here. Uh, at 50 cents per website visitor, it's costing way less than Google AdWords. She also had a mortgage broker client uh, who used remarketing to double page likes in eight weeks and is generating new business as well. So you can get started today for just $997 or $297 today plus the three monthly payments of $297. So it's social media plus one.com forward slash remarketing dash webinar forward slash FB offer. So we're going to open it up to questions now. Like I said, if you take action before the end of this webinar, before we end of these questions, then you will get that action takers bonus. So, uh, oops, we've already got Marie taking action. Thank, congratulations, Marie. Look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Fantastic. So like I said, like if it also take action now. You're going to be one of the first people on the 2017 Facebook training, uh, which starts next week. So that's the latest of the latest of training. Um, okay, so I'm just going to open it up now. If you did, sorry, if you did uh, uh, answer some questions earlier, I've got a big long list of stuff here. Rather than me scrolling all the way back, because I just don't know whether I answered some of those questions as we went through, um, could you please type in your question again so that I can uh, so that I can so that I can just go from where I am now and and and, and check it. Okay, um, rightio. So Peter has asked, uh, is the program updated when Facebook changes? Uh, Peter, I think I might have answered that by, um, by yes. So the program's going to be brand new as from next week. Um, as Facebook makes the changes, I will be letting you know inside the private mentoring group when it makes subtle changes. But keep in mind, a lot of the program is based on the principles. I do show you step-by-step -step how to do ads. 
but the fundamentals and the principles remain the same. Just sometimes where I show you on the screen has slightly moved from, you know, the sidebar to the top bar. Facebook just realistically changes. Um, it changes all the time, yes, but it typically changes uh, the, the, the layout of its ads manager. Uh, the reason why I've actually kept the training, um, I haven't made major changes to it over the last sort of 12 months. Uh, the principles remain the same as that Facebook has, was, has been basically going through 12 months of changing. What I do is I go inside the group and I share videos inside the group when it makes the changes. So I hope that helps you um, with, with that. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through here. I'm getting a little lost in the questions here. Sue, I have three different businesses. You've got three different businesses. Uh, will this, can I use it in all three differences? Businesses. Hey, Sue, it really doesn't matter. What, like, seriously, the training, I, I've got so many different types of businesses that have gone through this training. In fact, probably a few thousand. Now I've got lots and lots of case studies uh, so far. I'm just looking for more and more and more all the time um, and all different businesses. So even if you've got three different businesses, this is going to work for, you can, you can what I'd suggest you do, go through the training, set up one business, do it through that and then update, uh, and then and then as you go through, you can do, sorry, you can do uh, implement it in the other businesses as well. Get it right in one business, move it across to some of the other businesses as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, Jessica, awesome, thank you. Great to have you on board, Jess. Okay, oh, Steve, you haven't got the link. Okay, hey, Steve, it's in the chat box. Um, I'll just pop it back in there again. Um, can someone let me know that, that, that you are, well, we obviously you are seeing it because I've got people jumping on board, so... Um, let me know, Steve, if that's okay and you can see that. Um, okay. Uh, Leslie has an e-commerce business, uh, have had struggled to try and put the pixel on the thank you page. Yeah, Leslie. Listen, what I suggest you do if you've got an e-commerce business and finding the URL, this is going to, to some of you guys, sorry, this is going to sound a bit advanced. Uh, Leslie, it might sound a bit advanced for you, but I'll just try and explain it best I can. So in an e-commerce business, um, because it's uh, when people buy, generally it's, um, I'm trying to think of the word for it now, the thank you page, the, the numbers might change. So for me, if someone comes through my Marathon Girl shop and does, you know, they, they come to a page that says, uh, Check out dash three five six four one depending on you know what product they've bought. Um, so what you want to do is the pixel goes on all pages, but you want to you want to have the um, the targeting on a URL that has the keywords or contains words that are the checkout. So if we're talking WooCommerce. I believe the checkout URL is um, uh, received order. Um, and some of the other sites it might be something different so go through the buying process copy the URL is what I would normally do there um, okay uh, Craig I have two online businesses and would appreciate some advice before signing up uh, are you able to do this and offer advice if they are viable hey Craig here's what I suggest you do I do offer you a money back guarantee yes you can get advice before you sign up uh, but please keep in mind I, I do Honor my action takers. Um, happy to have a call with you tomorrow, but I suggest you take the uh, uh, action tonight. Maybe they do the two ninety seven. Happy to. Sorry, probably not tomorrow, but either I'll get in contact with you either tomorrow or Monday. Talk about that. If it's not viable, then you know, happy to refund you. Um, that's that's the best I can do. But please understand, I I do honor my my action takers. Love to have you on board, Craig. If you can do the two ninety seven, happy to have that conversation with you. See how viable it is. I will be one hundred percent honest. Anyone who works with me, just to let you guys know, anyone who works with me, I am honest. I will uh, tell you, A, if your baby is ugly, so to speak, so if your business is not going to work, I will also tell you if your idea is not going to work, and I'll also tell you if I can't help you. So um, I can't be any fairer than that. Is that okay, Craig, for you? Um, um, Emma, <laughs> um, yeah, Emma, listen, I, I don't do individual components of this rather than buying the whole training, uh, even if you were working with me just to access uh, finding a lookalike audience or whatever else. Um, it's it's just part of the process, Emma. You know, I could I, I've actually got uh, you know a video out there 
and I can show you how to do a lookalike audience, but that's not going to show you how to run the ads. That's not going to show you the system. A lookalike audience is only one 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 aspect of the training. Um, my suggestion would be that you do actually need, whether you, you, you know it or not, or right now is the, or every aspect. It's a step-by-step -step process, and you've got to follow the bouncing ball. That's where I have most of my clients have the biggest uh, biggest success. Um, okay. Thanks, Lorraine. Thank you very much, oh, dear. Uh, ho ho hope you can. Hope you can. Uh, okay, Peter. So I use Shopify and have the pixel activated. Does this populate to all pages? Sure does, Peter. Shopify is actually really good. Shopify works really, really well with Facebook. In fact, I think Facebook actually uses Shopify as their Facebook shop as well. So if you've got the shop, the pixel in Shopify, it will activate out to all your pages. But you do need to, to get that thank you page, you do need to go through the buying process or ask Shopify what the URL is for the thank you page. Please understand that it does actually change, but there is common common keywords in the URL on it, you know, so for instance, like I said, my one's order received, and then it might be a number underneath. Uh, good work, Craig, uh, hope to have you on board. Uh, Emma, awesome, thank you very much for that. Louise, hey Louise, awesome stuff. I, yeah, I will be in contact with you next week, Louise. Hey, great to have you on board, thank you very much. Um, okay. Oh, got a good question here. Have I tried some lead ads? Yes, I have done lead ads. Righty oh, so that's going to be in some of my new training as well. I'm going to teach you guys how to do lead ads, and I'm going to teach you guys that have signed up how to do canvas ads. And 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 the, the, I've actually had some really great success with canvas ads and lead ads. So these are two different types of ad creative that you can do inside Facebook and objectives. So just a rundown on, 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 on um, people that are still on here. So congratulations and good on you for staying because you're going to learn some stuff that, uh, that uh, isn't in the webinar but is really, really important. So uh, lead ads. So a lead ad is a new objective inside Facebook. When I say new, probably about eight months now. So it is where you can get leads, but the person that opts into your list doesn't have to leave Facebook. So ultimately what they do is the ad pops up, they go download or whatever the call to action is. It pops, it populates up a form inside Facebook that pre-populates their name and their email address. They can just go enter. And that automatically builds a list for you. You can integrate that with your autoresponder or you can use third-party tools to integrate it with your autoresponder. So it means end user does not have to leave Facebook to get onto your list, which they absolutely love. What I find with lead ads, though, is though you get a lot more leads, the quality of the leads is a lot less, okay? If they have to go away from Facebook onto your website, into their name and email address, they are more invested in you than they do just to go, yep, yep. So just word of warning for that, okay? Um, yes, Bruce, I know. I saw that you signed up a few weeks ago. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Um, and you were saying that yours is uh, printer cartridges. Hey, Bruce, um, listen, happy to do a call with you, man. Like, uh, just just, uh, just um, reach out to pa at kerryfitzgibbon.com, or you'll have actually all the details in the, in the sign-up. Um, happy to do a, a call with you, um, and let's go through some ideas, okay? Um, so that'll be cool. Yes, uh, so... Peter's just asked a really, really great question here, and I should have actually covered that, but yep, sure. So there are two of us in the business. Can we do the course independently? Uh, listen, if there's two of you in the business working on the same business, fantastic. Go for it. Like, you know, you can access, both of you can access it. Uh, if you've got a personal assistant or staff that you want to do this for you, go ahead. Here's the deal. I'm after successful case studies. If you don't have the time to do the course and you've got a staff member that has time to do the course, you give the training to them to do it and you can have a look at it as well. Um, just let me know what their name and their email address is and I'll add them to it. Peter, if you've got someone else um, in the business, a business partner or whatnot that uh, that you're working with, give them, give me, you know, when you sign up, make sure you email us and say, can you please add name, email address as well. So I see we've got a few members signing up, uh, coming through right now. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. 
Excellent, Bruce. Fantastic. Um, okay, so let me just read this, Craig, uh, before I read it out. Yep. So, Craig, fantastic, because this is what I use to build my profile up, uh, to be honest. So, he, the question Craig has is, can this also be used to create a higher profile for an up-and-coming sports person, motorsport? I assume it can be used to help build profile and gain a more broader audience rather than just for businesses. Absolutely. Here's what I would do if I was that motorsport person, and I'm going to show people how to do this as well, right? Facebook Live is massively popular right now. If you have not heard of Facebook Live, let me break it down very, very quickly because I actually have a whole couple of lessons on Facebook Live. Um, and I know that many of you probably want to go to bed very, very soon. Um, and I could do this all night because you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm super excited. So Facebook Live is really, really hot right now. Video is really, really hot on Facebook. Facebook Live is live video right? Facebook is giving preference to live video. It is fantastic for building up profile. So if you're a motorsports person, we can come up with a strategy for them, and I'm going to be showing people how to do this in the training. Come up with a strategy per, for them to be start talking about filming, doing Facebook Lives of the motorsports stuff, Facebook Lives on um, you know, even in the car racing around the track with the, the, with the Facebook Live going, he doesn't have to talk, obviously, but just showing the racing around the track. Um, that's one of the things I would be really, really utilizing uh, for, to, to, to build profile. So we'd be doing Facebook Live to build profile. I would suggest doing video to do profile and then retargeting and remarketing some of the Facebook Lives and Facebook videos as well. I've seen that working really, really well. Um, have you said... Uh, uh, Josh Denton, is that the? I'm assuming this must be the name of um of your of your motor motor racer person. Um, and you have used Facebook Live a few times, I'm assuming. Excellent, cool. Righty, oh, oh my goodness, I got so excited about that. I went off on a on a on a on a little bit of a little bit of a tangent. <laughs> uh, Rachel, good to have you on board. Thank you. You're going off now. That's all cool. We've still got a lot of people on. Um, so, but no one's actually asking questions. And I'm assuming you're at, well, we've, we've, we've stopped the questions, unless my computer hasn't caught up. So I am assuming that we're either all questioned out or you are waiting for more people to say to, to, to ask questions. But while I'm waiting for some more to come through, because there are still so many people on, so I'm assuming there must be some more. Um, let me just break down the training again because you've got a few more minutes to take take action to the action takers bonus. Um, summary of what you get, you get that Facebook ads remarketing training, how to make sales from Facebook without spending a cent, how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch, that one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me, which is awesome. Oh my goodness, I channel stuff in and I'm <laughs> those strategy sessions alone are worth the price of what you're paying here, seriously. Not, not blowing my own bubble, but... Uh, they are. <laughs> Maybe I am blowing my own bubble. 12 videos set. Um, so the three-day workshop that I held, of course, the action takers bonus, whole value of this is over $10,000. Uh, you can get started today if you want to pay the 997 or 297 right now and then the three monthly payments. Um, a couple of you guys, you know, might want that chat with me first um, or throughout the next couple of weeks. Happy to do that. Um, Awesome, Peter. I look forward to speaking to you. Uh, you'll get access straight away. You'll get all the information on how to get in contact with me if you've got any questions. Um, that's fantastic. Thanks, Bruce. Great to have you two weeks in a row. That's awesome. So uh, hopefully you've, you've, you've learned some more tonight. Um, ah. Yeah, so Elizabeth. Yeah, I actually recognize your name. Uh, See, so we might have met at yeah, either Andrew and Daryl's or Matt and Liz's. I've been to absolutely all of them. Um, so love to help you, Elizabeth. Uh, hopefully we, I can help you as well. Okay, team, last chance to do action takers or last chance to ask me some questions. Oh, did I want to put the link back in there? Is anyone missing that? I think it's there a few times now. If you're having any issues with it, make sure you let me know. Um, cool. Right, so if you are all questioned out, can I please have you, because there's so many of you still here, can I please have a 
all cool, Kerry, or uh, just start dropping off if that's okay. Uh, I just kind of feel like because there's so many people there that that that, that you might want to know some more stuff. Uh, look forward to getting started. Awesome, Terry. I look forward to helping you as well. Fantastic. Have a look through some of the stuff that's in there now. But like I said, I'm going to email you guys on Monday um, with the webinar link for next week's first 2017 training for Facebook ads. You'll also get access to the group, which I'll go in and accept as well. Sorry, Bruce, I believe I was a little bit slow at accepting yours. Um, I'll go in there tonight and accept everyone as they come through um, and go through. But uh, and, um, and but if you can't attend the live training, uh, it's okay. It's recorded. It's got to go up into the members area anyway. Um, oh my goodness, Lorraine, I've got several photography businesses on board already um, that this training works really, really well for, um, and a couple of photographers in the group as well, so yeah, it works really, really well for, for, for photography businesses. Um, another thing I would be looking at uh, with the photography businesses, looking at doing Canva, Canvas ads as well, really, really niching it down. If you haven't already, I'm assuming, Lorraine, you probably have actually niched it down. Um, and really, really, you know, like I've had some photographers do the contests and stuff like that um, through Facebook and then remarket to the people that enter the contests and things, but I can show you how to do that. Uh, call Elizabeth, talk soon. Uh, excellent, Craig, look forward to uh, helping you. Thanks, it's pet photography. Oh my goodness. Yes, glamour, transitional, excellent. So transformational. Listen, that pet photography stuff, I reckon that will go down a treat, an absolute treat. You should actually, uh, if you haven't already, I'd be setting up a specific uh, love doggy page or a love cat page or something like that, um, pet, pet loving page or pet photography. Uh, I'd definitely be highlighting a lot of the images that you're doing and things like that. So um, that would be really, really cool. I think it would work really, really well. And plus, any on the strategy calls and that uh, for all the ones that have joined, um, I'm able to easily dig into your business and just give you the exact strategy for what you need to do. And then the training, you just go ahead and do it. Or your action take, as I set it up for you, and then with the training, you go ahead and do it yourself. Uh, with the training, you can go ahead and do it after that. Okay, team, we're coming to an end now. Um, had a fantastic time. Just one more chance to, to, to look at the link there. But it is just $2.97 tonight plus three monthly payments. Uh, if you've got any more questions, please do ask. I'm happy to stay here as long as you guys are here to answer questions. But if you don't have any more, then uh, we can all uh, put our feet up for the night. Thanks, Lorraine. I, I actually, I'd love you. If you haven't disappeared, Lorraine, I'd love you to share the link of your of your page or your website so I can have a look at some of those, uh, those photos. That would be really, really cool uh, before we go. Okay, so we're almost hitting nine o'clock. Excellent. Uh, yes, Terry, it worked really well. I'm, I'm semi coaching business as well, or I am a coaching business as well, so I can actually show you my strategy, which is awesome. Okay, guys, um, thank you so much, and thank you for. Um, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, working with. Uh, action takers here and for helping you to the next level and you helping me to be the, the best in the world at this. Okay, team, uh, thank you so much for coming to the webinar this evening. I've had a blast. I hope you have too. Uh, if you have enjoyed this um, and it has been useful for you, if you do see my ad popping up in the in, in the Facebook stream, um, make sure you say, went to the webinar, it's fantastic. Also, you go onto my page. Uh, it's facebook.com social media plus one so facebook.com social media plus one uh, go on and like it uh, I will be sharing videos inside there um, and um, and, uh, and and leave comments as well awesome that's only if you've liked the webinar this evening uh, if, and it's been useful for you and I'd love thanks Lorraine for sharing uh, pit a pat photography facebook.com pit a pat photography right I'll go and have a look at that awesome Okay, team, thank you very much. Have a good evening.